and what a fantastic day. I don't know why. It, I was in such a bad mood yesterday. So grouchy with my kids, but today's been just way better, and it's only it's only noon. But um, anyway, uh, what was I going to talk about first? I have a whole agenda. And maybe should I list the agenda? Nah. Maybe in the future I will list the agenda, and then you'll know what to look forward to. Okay. So um, I used to watch a channel called Arturo Trejo. <laughs> he was really funny, and he had a agenda. Like he would have like a business meeting. Like, anything he needed to talk to his subscribers about. So I thought, you know, Sunday can kind of be my business meeting. Because I'm already dressed up. I'm wearing a skirt. And very cute boots. Not my black boots, but some other ones that are, like, easier to wear. <laughs> anyway, I should take them off and show you, because they're really cute. Maybe I will, in a minute. Um, okay, so, item number one. Is weight loss vlog. Oh, there's Dad. Um, I lost 1.2 pounds this week, and I'm so, so pleased with myself. I did last week, too, so I'm kind of on a roll, so I'm kind of getting excited about it. And um, I just need to t I need to tell myself, when it comes to eating things that are inappropriate, I need to say, Hi, hey, Johnny. <laughs> He's like, come help me. I'm trying to get him to pick up. I need to say, would you rather eat this piece of candy, or would you rather go to Europe? So I think that'll be my incentive, because I used to do that when I was pregnant. Would you rather eat this cookie, or would you rather have a healthy baby? And it was very, very good for me. Okay, so that's item number one. Item number two. <laughs> First we have to talk about my boots. See? Oh, you can't see them. It's so sunny. I really like these. These are my Cara the Cowgirl boots. They kind of have a 70s flair. Anyway, I don't. I can't believe I took off my boot and showed you guys, but um, they're really kind of cute, and I like them, and they're really comfortable, and they keep my feet warm in the winter. So next item is business. Um, my friend Dana, Ms. Diaper D, um, is a mommy, and she is going to start a kind of a new collaboration channel where, and this might not make a lot of sense to a lot of people. I don't even know if I fully understand what's going on here, but, um, you know, there are a lot of big tubers out there and there are a lot of big family tubers and there are a lot of people who are like addicted to them. Like myself, I've been watching the Shaytards, which is a family who actually lives in Idaho and I know some of their family members and stuff, and I met them one time in Walmart, and that was like a big exciting highlight of my life, and they're my thumbnail, by the way, that picture. Anyway, so, um, you know, a lot of them do daily vlogs, and what this is kind of going to be, this new channel slash new show, is like kind of a synopsis of what they've been doing, and I will readily admit, this is just a secret between you guys and me, the other people that they are going to be following on this show. I've never heard of them before. <laughs> There's some other people, and I, I saw, I, seriously, I don't know who they are. So, um, uh, yeah, the Shade Tards, they have like 2.5 million viewers or something like that, and they are rolling in cash. They are rolling in YouTube cash and like Pepsi deals and stuff. But anyway, I, I admire them. I mean, I don't, I don't love them 100%, but they're, they're cool, and I, I appreciate what they're doing. Anyway, the whole point is I am going to be like a correspondent for this little channel thing. So I get to give a three minute update of what the Shaytards have been doing throughout the week. So my job is to watch their vlogs and then just kind of um, comment on them. And I figure I'm in a unique position here because I live in Idaho. And um, like I told my sister, this winter we can maybe go shopping together, my sister and I. She lives right here. Shaytards live here and I live here. So we'll just meet in the middle and we'll go shopping. Even though I will be passing up two perfectly good Super Walmarts, just to get to the one in Shay Carlville. And anyway, that is my plan. So I'm, <laughs> I will keep track of their movements on my little whiteboard with strings. <laughs> I'll be like when they um, find the storage unit on those crime dramas and the guy has, oh, there's somebody in my house, and the guy's been um, like stalking them. So anyway, we'll keep track of where they've been eating out and where they've been shopping and then we'll I'll find them someday and I'll interview them. I just think that'd be really cool. And maybe I could talk to some people they know and I could actually set up a real interview. I don't know. Oh, CJ's got to go. That's why people are here. Okay, bye. Next item. Next item of business. Um, for Mommy Orbit, we've added a couple more. <sighs> I'm tired. <laughs> uh, the first one is Oreo. They're a cool family who lives in Hawaii. And I first met them because um, Ed from... The Corner Show did a shout out for them. I think what happened was they lost their channel. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I just ran back from the house. And um, he wanted them to, you know, help reestablish their channel. So anyway, and um, anyway, that'll be good. Melissa's in the 
um, mommy meetup. So, and also Amanda's world. She said she'll probably start in November, November 1st. <laughs> I'm so out of shape. I can't run from my house to the car. And um, I'll put a link in there for them. Okay, yeah. One more item. Two. Okay, um, today was primary program practice in our church. Um, the kids are going to do a little program for their parents and families. A lot of singing. There's like, I think, did I count eight or nine songs? I don't know, but I have to play them all. And uh, the girl that has put this, the musical part of it together, all the kids have a little speaking part, you know, where they say a scripture or some little, some little something and something that they've learned this year. And anyway, I should read you Muffy's part. I should have her read it to you. That would be really cute. But anyway, it doesn't matter. You, you guys don't care. Maybe I'll have her read it later. But um, something about Jesus. <laughs> I can't remember it. Anyway, so, uh, what? So, the songs, the songs are, like, really hard. They're, like, really hard arrangements, and I've been really stressing out about them. And last night, I was trying to practice the piano. Everybody's wild and being crazy and running around, and so I'm like, you guys go to your rooms! So, they did. They went to the rooms. They went to bed, and I noticed John was in on our bed with his laptop, and he was watching some movie, and I thought, oh, poor Johnny. I've had to banish him to the bedroom, but it's okay. You know what? It's okay. Mama needs to practice sometimes, and I am going to, um try to get an hour in every day. It's going to be hard because the the hardest song is this one and it's an arrangement and they're going to have the choir come in and sing with all the kids and it's going to be kind of wild. But they did a really good job on their practice today and I think it's going to come together really good and maybe I will record some of the songs because they're kind of fun and um, that's just what I'd like to do. So next. I was thinking what would be kind of fun is at the end of my business meeting if I had like a little singing Sunday thing because that's a fun thing that a lot of people do because you know Sunday and singing we'll start with us um kind of a Berche 889 inspired situation I could call it music Mondays I don't know but I think I'll do it on Sunday so here's a little shout out to our good friend Albie who I noticed I haven't watched the video yet but I noticed that he's been in West Virginia so just as a disclaimer I have no I don't know how to sing at all. I just do it because it's fun. So we'll see. And this is kind of, it's just a funny song. So we'll see. <laughs> I'm embarrassed. I might have to close my eyes. Take me home, country road, to the place I belong. West Virginia, mountain mama. Take me home, country road. That's a John Denver song, in case you're wondering. Hey, you guys, have such a good week. Appreciate you so much. See ya. Bye.